I'm going to talk about 10 signs that you might be a narcissistic dad. Jumping on the old narcissist content bandwagon, are we? Yeah, probably. At least you're honest. Sign number one, you like to be the centre of attention. When you become a dad, it's not all about you anymore. Even when you are a dad, if you're in a relationship, it's not always all about you. And that's something that narcissistic dads don't really get. Is this video about you? The sort of people who will lock themselves in the utility room to make YouTube channel content. Is that the sound of a penny dropping? If I'm doing it for the greater good, and for me a bit. Okay, let's just get through the video, shall we? One of the most important things I think when you become a parent is that you have to realise that it isn't always about you anymore. And actually the more energy you pour into your kids' achievements and celebrating what they do and what they overcome, the better you will feel. Because actually your kids are you. I mean, biologically your kids are you. And I'm not saying it's easy. As a self-confessed show-off, there are times when you want it to be about you. But actually, if I'm honest, the things in life that give me the most happiness are the things that I've done for other people. Narcissistic dads tend to be quite economic with the truth. You might paint the picture of yourself being the absolute linchpin at work. How I tap like jiu-jitsu person might not be 100% accurate. And the second sign that you might be a narcissistic dad, you tend to give unsolicited advice. Now, I'll put my hands up. This is definitely something I have done in the past. Hopefully I'm getting better at it. I think where it's okay to give advice is if someone actually asks you and therefore it's not unsolicited. And with my content, I try and make it really clear that a lot of the lessons I've learned are through massive fails where I've got it epically wrong. If me sharing stories or my experiences of where I got it wrong as a husband or a dad helps dads out there to maybe not make the same mistakes, then I feel like it's the best use of it. I think it's okay to give people advice, but don't do it in a way that gives the impression that you're very sophisticated or above everybody else. As I get older, the one thing I realise to be true... You're never going to be James Bond. You're never going to play rugby for Scotland. If you've got nothing nice to say, don't say anything. That also goes if you've got nothing useful to say, don't say anything. Sorry. And if someone's talking about something they've done or something they're going through... Don't use it as an opportunity to point score. Oh, you got £200 off your holiday. Oh, I got £205 off my holiday. You should have gone to slightlycheaperholidays.com. And the third sign that you might be a narcissistic dad, you hate waiting in line. If you're that dad who gets unnecessarily frustrated or grumpy in a traffic jam, or gets really huffy when you're waiting in a queue, you might be a bit of a narcissist. Again, it's this idea that I shouldn't have to wait. I'm slightly above everybody else. We're all created equal. That goes for dads. And the fourth sign that you might be a narcissistic dad, your ambition holds no bounds. Now, having dreams that you are working hard to achieve is one thing. But believing you're destined for greatness, because you are greatness, is another thing. Even when I started in 2018, I've always been utterly realistic of what my expectations could be on YouTube or my podcast. I'm not overly intelligent or attractive, and therefore I may always be destined to be a small YouTuber. Didn't your wife have to throw out all her high heels? I meant small to size of channel. Narcissistic dads do naturally believe they are destined or belong to a higher elite class of dads, which is probably why they get so frustrated when the world isn't delivered to them on a plate. For me, narcissism is about feelings of superiority which is never attractive or accurate. You're also setting yourself up for a fall if you basically think you're pretty awesome. For example, jiu-jitsu. I am bang average at jiu-jitsu, but I love it. It's really good for my mental health. It's good for my fitness. I've made some great friends, but I'm an average jiu-jitsu practitioner. And that's okay. The same can probably be said for my YouTube channel and my podcast. But again, that's okay because I'm trying to get better. And as I said, if this makes me some friends or helps some people along the way, then I'm all right with that. Sign number five, you might be a narcissistic dad. You know how to turn on the charm. You know how to make those around you feel awesome. Although all the admiration and praise you heap on someone else comes with a bit of an agenda. Basically, narcissistic dads do this because they expect you to do the same for them. I will tell you, you are awesome. But just so you know, I expect you to do the same. That's not how it works. And that's not being authentic. And I have to check myself on this sometimes. Sometimes if I'm feeling a bit needy and I go and give my kids a hug, 
and tell them I love them. But doesn't necessarily mean they have to reciprocate. You do give a very good back scratch. They don't necessarily have to tell me they love me back. And I've had to work on that. And that's my neediness as a person. And a sixth sign that you might be a narcissistic dad, you're very competitive. Whether it's the dad race at the school sports day or Monopoly, you have to win. Which basically means that no one's ever going to want to compete with you or play games with you because you're a nightmare. A narcissist has to win in basically every facet of their life. Whether that's how quickly you can take the bins out, how many steps you've done today, how many loads of laundry, what you spent on your wife's birthday. Life is not a competition. The only person you're in competition with is yourself. We are all doing our best and we all have complete different levels of energy, time, financial resources, self-esteem. There's nothing worse than you listening on someone who's celebrating an achievement and just waiting in the wings for your opportunity to just one-up their achievement. You're also doing your children a massive disservice by being overly competitive. If your kids basically see, what well, you have to win every game you ever play, you're going to make them a nightmare as well. Whether it's Monopoly, Kaplunk or Swing Ball, you've got to show your kids it's just about doing it. It's about taking part. That's the fun bit. Who wins or loses is utterly irrelevant. And if that stings a bit, well, so what? You've just got to learn how to push that down. I've certainly had to do this. And a bit of a disclaimer, we will all have elements of narcissism in our personality. And I'm pretty sure that's okay if you're doing your best to manage them and make sure they don't negatively affect your relationships, especially with your children. Sign number seven, you are famous for holding grudges. It was never your fault. And you're always looking at ways to seek revenge on whoever you think has done you wrong. As opposed to managing your feelings, trying to deal with them yourself, you hold these things inside you and look for ways to seek revenge when appropriate. People make mistakes. People say and do silly things. You've got to get over this stuff. It's hurting you more to hold on to it than it's hurting them. We all make mistakes. In my case, daily. But if you do your best to admit them, own them, and try and clean them up, then you're not a narcissist. Or at least you're not much of a narcissist. Maybe a mini narcissist. Fun-sized narcissist? Basically, a lack of empathy is a trademark of a narcissist. And as a dad, you have to have loads of empathy. I told you so, it's not a kind or fair reaction when a six-year-old takes the wrong shoes to school. You may be totally thinking it, but they're six. And the ninth sign that you might be a narcissistic dad, you manipulate people. Manipulation is a very clear trait of a narcissist. You may not even be aware you're doing it, but if you slightly intimidate or bully people, including your children, to get your own way, then you are a narcissist. Basically, the more I go through this list, the more I realise that you're a narcissist. You're a narcissist if you don't put other people first. And especially the minute you become a parent, you can't put yourself first. You have to put your children first. So if you're a dad and still trying to find ways to put yourself first, you're a narcissistic dad. And I'm not saying it's easy not to be a narcissistic dad. And I'm saying that there are times when I can be a narcissistic dad. But I am generally trying not to be a narcissistic dad. Being a dad quite often means doing lots of stuff you don't want to do. Do I want to get up on a Saturday morning and take my child to football? No. Do I need to do that? Yes. Do I really want to stop on my journey home from work to get the groceries my wife said she was going to get this morning? Oh, can you pick me up a pig's ear? No, but your husband and you're a dad and you're part of a team. So just suck it up and get on with it and get it. The energy you're wasting being a narcissistic grumpy dad, you could be using to become a super dad. Your life as a dad doesn't get easier, you get better. And you getting better makes it easier. And the 10th sign that you might be a narcissistic dad, you crave self-esteem. Irrespective of whether you're a dad or not, we all need some acknowledgement that we're doing okay. And that's all right. That's important. Just as long as you're not telling other people they're doing okay, hoping that they're then going to tell you that you're doing okay. Tell your wife she looks awesome just because she looks awesome. Tell your kids you're really proud of them. Tell your kids you love them just because you love them. Just kids or kids and dogs? Not because you need to hear it back. Note to self, stop doing that. I really hope you got something in this podcast. And if you'd like to watch a video about 10 signs that you might actually be an amazing dad, please click this link. 
And do you know what? The fact that you've watched this and clicked on this video means that you're actually trying to look for ways to be a super dad, and I admire that. And I'd really like to develop this YouTube channel into being something a bit more than a 48-year-old man talking to himself in his utility room. With that in mind, if you've got a question about something you've seen on one of my videos, or you'd just like to say hi, that'd be awesome. Please do in the comments. I hope wherever you are in the world, you're okay. Take care of yourself.